Is one obligated to be vaccinated against the coronavirus? This was a question that was asked by one of our rabbis in Washington, D.C., and I believe it's a question on many people's minds. Thank God I believe that the vast majority of people in our communities, in more modern Orthodox communities, are choosing to be vaccinated. In our synagogue community here in Riverdale, 98% are vaccinated, thank God. But there are still some who are making the choice not to. And whether one is choosing to be vaccinated or not to be, many people would like to know, what does halacha have to say about this? So the point of departure clearly is the issue of pikuach nefesh, of the fact that we have a mandate halachic obligation to preserve life, and that relates to our own lives as well. So Rav Asher Weiss, a major posek in Israel, deals with this question, and he cites authorities over the last 200 years who are dealing with the question of taking vaccines in the face of deadly viruses, and at the same time, there was some tiny, tiny portion of a percentage of a risk that the vaccine could be harmful. And these posts can rule, by and large, that there's a strict halachic obligation to preserve your life. The risk is so tiny that that does not weigh against this strict obligation. Others were a little more hesitant, and they said one should take the vaccine, but because of this risk, you are free to choose to be concerned about that risk when it comes to your own health, rather than the much larger risk by not being vaccinated. It sounds bizarre. But it is based on a Talmud statement about God watches over the foolish, that people can do things that are not medically advised. And how far can we go to constrain choice uh, when it deals with one's own health? So there is this debate. Nevertheless, Rav Weiss is heavily leaning to saying that it's strictly halachically obligated. The risk is so great to one's health. The risk of, not, uh, of being vaccinated is so trivial that one should be halachically obligated. But he pulls back at the last minute because of this issue of choice and says, I can't actually say that because you could choose to wear a mask. So you're obligated to either be vaccinated or wear a mask, but we can't demand vaccination must take place. Now, one wonders two things. Number one, is he weighing the actual percentage difference of those two? And at what point is that not a legitimate choice? And more significantly, number two, which is we're not just dealing with your own health. People that are not vaccinated get sick at a much higher rate and infect other people at a much higher rate. So to what degree can you be unconcerned with the high risk to others because of a trivial risk to yourself, that is highly questionable. And I think that there is a good reason to say that because of protecting others' health, there actually is a strict halachic obligation to be vaccinated.